The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for our farm and ranch news. Today we see that the National Corn Growers Association has expressed grave concern and disappointment with the Environmental Protection Agency's final tailpipe emission standards applying to model year vehicles 2027 through 2032. As sales of electric vehicles crucial for meeting the Biden administration's standards for greenhouse gas emissions start to decline, the auto industry has voiced objections to the Biden EPA's preferred standards revealed last April, which are part of an ambitious plan to reduce emissions from passenger vehicles to combat global warming. The National Corn Growers say they're disappointed in the announcement, saying the plan still relies almost exclusively on using electric vehicles, a decision that will have long-lasting impacts on the rural economy because it ignores the benefits of corn ethanol. Economists at the University of Nebraska say the resulting large drop in corn demand will lead to a permanent 50% decrease in the price of corn that could cost the top five corn producing states well over $100 billion in farmland value. According to the EPA's final rule, the industry could comply with the limits if 56% of new vehicle sales are electric by the year 2032. Additionally, at least 13% of vehicles should be plug-in hybrids or other partially electric cars alongside more efficient gasoline-powered cars that achieve higher mileage per gallon. Well, now as we look at the 2024 growing season, it's expected to bring a unique combination of El Nino this spring through early summer before switching to La Nina in the late summer through early fall. The opposing climate patterns have the potential to trigger significant weather events that could have problematic impacts on crop production. 2023 ended with a strong El Nino, which is weakening now and will end around April, forecasters believe. However, the long-term impacts will be felt throughout the growing season. The U.S. weather patterns will likely shift back to normal between April and July, followed by a probable La Nina through September. The report also says 2024 planting dates will likely be slightly earlier for wheat and rice while remaining typical for corn and soybeans. While corn, wheat and soybean yields are expected to increase this year because of El Nino, rice yields will slightly decline from last year. We'll be right back. 